When you want to create a no-code custom application quickly to host in SharePoint 2013, one of the options you have is to create an access web app. So I'll be showing you here how you can make that happen. What I have open here is Access 2013. You do need to start from here to create your application, the web app basically, and then launch it, push it out to your SharePoint 2013 site whether it be SharePoint 2013 hosted in-house or SharePoint 2013 running in the cloud like Office 365. So what I want to do here, you see there are a couple options here telling me that you can make a custom web app or you can make a blank desktop database. Now, if you do click on this one, this actually is a traditional desktop database. So this is making a database on your computer. That's not what we want. If I make a custom web app, it's going to make a custom web app, but it's going to be completely empty to start with, which is fine if you want to start with scratch and then go ahead and add your tables and everything else uh, specifically individually. That is a perfectly well option to do that. But another option that you have is to start with a predefined template, and there's many, many of them here, and then you can search for more online. Let's say that I want a predefined custom database for contacts right i'll click on contacts here this is where it tells me that it's going to become a access 2013 app and that's fine that's what i want so let me go ahead and name it something i'm going to go ahead and name it hr team contacts now where do i want to have this pushed out to which site let me take you to my browser here. And this is my site, sharepointvideos.sharepoint.com slash HR. That's the place, that's the team site that I want to push my custom web application to. So I'm going to go ahead and take this URL up to HR. Okay, this is an Office 365 site, but as I said before, if this was an internal SharePoint 2013 deployment in-house, that would be fine as well. Back in access, I'm going to go ahead and paste this location here and click on create. This takes a little bit, but eventually it goes ahead and makes the web application in your site. Create. It took a couple of minutes in my case, but it is finally ready. I went ahead and skipped that part so to move the demonstration along. So when I click on contacts here now, I see that there is the contacts web app. Well, it's the contacts app here that still needs to be launched to become a web app. Currently, I have three different views that I could edit if I want to. List, data sheet, and by group. So these are the three views that come right out of the box basically when you choose the contacts web app and like I said you can modify these views or you can make additional views here as well if you wanted to once you're ready once you're satisfied with the app the way you want it to be you go ahead and launch the app by clicking on this launch app button and that will go ahead and make this access web app in your SharePoint 2013 as an app So let's click on launch app And here it is. It's pretty fairly uh, quick. So now here we have, it's asking me to make new contacts. Let me go ahead and make mine first. Some information, email. Okay, it could be a group. All right, so now this group is the one that it will use later to uh, for this view, the by group view. I'll go ahead and keep myself in business. Let me go ahead and click on save. And of course, this is all happening on the site, the HR site. Let me make a new contact. This contact is going to be Tim Smith. MSN. Group is going to be, let's do friends and save. 
So now that you got your database, you got your contacts, you have these views, datasheet view of course is going to show you the datasheet view of the whole database. And the by group one is going to show by grouping. We have two groupings here, business and friends, and that's what that's going to show right there. An extremely important thing to note over here is that this context table, these views, everything has actually been created in the SQL Server database in the back end. So there's a one-to-one -one correlation between making these access databases and the actual SQL database that gets created. So there's a SQL database that got created for the HR team contacts where there's a contacts table and then there's these views, these list data sheet by group views which is great because everything gets stored in the database. Everything is backed up with the SQL Server. So this app, of course, is a part of this site. When you click on Back to Site, you see the actual site homepage here. And here's the actual link to the HR contacts. There's another link there that's from before, but the main link is right there, which you can click on to get to the HR Team Contacts app. And that's how you can create a rapid, quick, no-code application using Access 2013.